Okay, to get started with Move 101 Part 1, you'll need a student account. And I think it's a good idea to have a student account anyway because you might want to enroll yourself as a student in your courses to test out how different settings look. So go ahead and go to myopinmath.com and we're going to click on register as a new student. And you're going to fill out this little form. I recommend doing your regular instructor username with underscore student. And I'm going to do student one since I already have a, a student account. So I would go ahead and do the same password as you use for your instructor account just to keep it easy. And um, I'm also going to use the same email address. Um, notify me by email when I receive a new message. That's okay. I'm going to check that off. I don't really need to know that. But I will agree to the terms of use. And you're going to put in the course ID that um, is given to you on the Blackboard homepage. So it might not be 9419. Uh, depends on when you take the course. And we'll click sign up. It's going to give you a little warning that you already have an account with that email. Um, but we're going to say create new account anyways. And we're going to return to the login page and log in with our new student account. And you'll see um, the Move 101. Uh, this one says mom as a student, uh, but yours might say Move 101 Part 1. So you'll click on to that course and then you can go ahead and get started. Um, well, the instructions are here and we have our objectives. Uh, basically, you know, you're going to click on step one, post your bio. In order to do that, you have to click on add new thread. And the subject is usually just your name and a little short description about yourself and then click post thread. So you'll just go through all the instructions are there. It should be pretty easy to figure everything out, but if you do get stuck, Step six is a little forum to ask any questions. So if anything's unclear, uh, just let us know.